All right, y'all, round two, because I paused the video and then I swiped out of the app. There's Big Squeak Gidry out here on the ground. I'm gonna throw up, uh, this is gonna be a part two for the video that I just posted before this. But um, yeah, we're gonna go play. I think there was a bike up there. This thing's fun to ride at night, I'm not gonna lie. And if I'm yelling or my mic placement has gotten all jacked up, oh it was a <laughs> it was a bicycle. So it was a bike. Sunday night, downtown's probably mid. Hella mid. It's Labor Day weekend. One thing's for sure you will see the police. At least once. But yeah, this is part two this guy a hell of room because that's the law. Big chilling. Big chilling. The road's got like a little curve in it. I gotta watch my uh, <laughs> phone battery life, and I gotta watch my storage. But yeah, this is ooh, somebody's under that bridge with some hibbity. We're not getting on the connector, so we don't need those two lanes. Maybe a little less than mid tonight. I mean, a little more than mid. Might be a little hater. You gotta drive real nice and soft through here. You gotta be polite and do fucking 20. Yeah, so if anyone's wondering, I was making a video and then I fucking paused it. And then I swiped out of the app. And that hella ended the video, so. Uh, this is going to be posted in two parts. This is part two. Part one is pretty neat. So right now we're rolling up on the Capitol building. It's a pretty nice place to be. Take it easy here, take it easy. Try 
trying to change the stigma. Um, Groms around here ride really, really like fucking rowdy. And I'm just trying to be chill. I'm not trying to be a nerd or a noob. I'm just trying to be chill. Gr they're fun. It's a 125. Like, what's the most you can do? I mean, throwing up wheelies on surface streets is not really my thing. But I do like coming down the strip. Hell yeah, we're catching all the greens. Oh, that dude was fitting to get T-boned. He was coming right at me. Damn, it got dark quick. It's not summertime anymore. Hella bikes out though and boards, that's cool. What's up, homie? You're in the fucking road. Ooh, biker bar. They're broke down. Should we ask them if they're okay? I think they're parking, picking something up, to be honest. Oh, she did not look okay. But she was broke down. Yeah, man. I'm hoping that the sound quality is better than when we had the neck tube covering thing. And if you've been rolling with the channel, they're like speeding up. I'm coming over. Fucking rude, man. Some people are hella, hella rude about that. They know it's a tiny bike and it can't do shit, so they speed up so you can't get over. It happens more often than not. We're not gonna head back towards the crib yet. My camera's still picking up the light pretty good, so how much time are we? Well, it's only been eight minutes. Let's keep rolling. Let's keep rolling. Maybe we'll see another Grom and we'll whip around and uh, link up. Or maybe another bike wants to group ride or something. If you live in southern Idaho and you like to ride, man, I'm your guy. Let's get down. This is a sweet park, uh, Esther, Esther Simplot Park, it's got three different, well, two different, one is like double connected with a bridge, it's like two ponds, but it's really one, man, I love this thing, if you got a 19 Grom, you know the vibe. I want to figure out my chest rig so I can get like back here and get my hands in but honestly as long as y'all damn it's a nice corner Wah. hell yeah hell yeah we'll hit State Street and go back to the hood because I don't have a lot of battery life I just kind of threw my phone on the quick charger earlier knowing I wanted to go for a ride Bop, bop, bop. It's 
where you gotta watch out, people be drunk. No lights. Oh yeah, we big chillin'. So, my phone's doing alright. With the night light, with, with uh, being out in the dark. It's not dark yet. I mean, the phone is not showing up so dark, but wait a minute. I'm wearing a darkened screen. <laughs> it's not even that late. It's not even that dark. Oh. The age old, do I go left or do I go straight? Well, this is a, a through turn. It's one of those weird. You go straight through the intersection that you want to turn left at, and then you pop a UE about 100 yards down. You see that yellow flashing light down there? That's just a return. Damn. Contrast is not so good. Uh, the headlights are kind of too bright. I see why people don't motovlog at night now. Because the headlights are all fucking whacked out. Another thing, recording your rides is like for safety, for insurance purposes, you know what I mean? If something happens and it's your word against theirs, you're recording, so... And if you knock on some wood and don't drink yourself, I should stop and literally knock on a power pole. I think I'm gonna do that. But yeah, if you're riding with the channel, and uh, or you've been subscribed, or like you... Subscribe back when I was posting gun shorts. Like, I'll still be doing that uh, as I buy guns. But, like, with the way things are right now with gas and stuff, I just can't afford to just keep dumping money on guns all the time. I got to kind of start being smart with my money. And so, yeah. The quality of the video is freaking prime. I don't mind that it takes an hour to upload. I might be slowing down the internet in my neighborhood, but that's not really a big deal to me. That's what high speed is for, and, uh, yeah, nope, the roller rink is not popping. The gas station, Terry's looks alright. Terry's does not look mad at all. They look like they got something going on there tonight. That's cool, that's cool. Man, I love this bike. What else? This pond behind these apartments right here for bass is banging. If you can slip into one of the little cuts or you can just get permission for someone that lives there that says, yeah, you can fish here. This is a sweet spot, bro. I'm not racing you on a fucking Grom, guy. You're in a Camry. Like, Camry versus Grom. Like, go ahead, bro. Sometimes I do jump off the line. Sometimes... <laughs> Sometimes I get a little rowdy on this thing, but, and I did say in part one that I might be getting slightly in the rowdy department, but it's just not worth it, like I'm already doing 40 and they're speeding and it's just not like, like I could lean over, put my head down and do a 60 mile an hour flyby, but that's not what I'm out here to do tonight. I'm out here to ride and vlog and just have a good time. I'm so glad I threw a freaking hoodie on, like beyond happy that I threw a hoodie on and jeans because the wind chill is pretty, it's cutting, it's cutting through a little bit. But yeah, hopefully this, well, 15 minutes. This vlog, hopefully it doesn't get too long. I just couldn't think, sorry if I'm yelling, I couldn't think of like, where to go and what to do, so I literally just put my bike at the end of the driveway, got dressed, and got my moto gear on, and was like, just ride to your little heart's content because that's what it's for and I don't think I've been riding all weekend I went fishing on Thursday night and like I usually just use it to get to the gas station and back but it was time for like a spiritually enlightening ride if you know what I mean sometimes you gotta ride to like get it out of you sometimes you ride to get your mind right this was like a Sunday night 
you got a bike, go for a ride ride. So, again, if you're still watching and you're still rolling with the channel, I appreciate you guys a lot. And I hope that I can grow this channel into something freaking sweet and eventually get some merch and, you know, whatever else that I learned that I need to keep the channel growing and going. <laughs> Them big squeaks on a sushi roll. Let's go. <laughs> Here's what I'll do. There's a car wash with like a big ass mirror. So what I'll do on the next one, I'll roll through, not through the car wash, but I'll pull up at the end of the car wash and post up on that mirror and show you guys uh, my gear. I don't know what this guy's playing at. I don't want to be that weirdo that's like always, always, always moto vlogging, like just running to the, the, the smoke shop or whatever for lottery tickets for my grandma and like always fucking moto vlogging, like keeping my helmet on and doing my business and like recording. I don't want to be that guy, so I just keep it low key. And like if I'm going to go on a long ride, then I'll moto vlog, but I'm not just gonna like 24 7 throw my camera and mic up and and uh yeah but yeah this has been uh grom with zeke and uh hopefully the video quality is good hopefully the video is not too long hopefully i'm not yelling hopefully 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 i can grow this channel by just consistently posting moto vlogs and Switching between bikes. I want to do a longer, like, on the big bike. I want to take it to a state park. So I got a state park's pass on my big bike. If y'all know, uh, check out the other videos on my big bike. It's a 1600cc Yamaha Roadstar. It's a highway cruiser, basically. I call it a chopper sometimes. I'll probably get corrected on that. It's not actually a chopper. It doesn't have the bag, so it's not a bagger, but... Like, picture Franklin's bike without the bags, and then it's tan and gold and chrome. But, uh... I want to do a longer ride to, like, a state park, or to, like, CJ Strike, or something like that. Again, if you're in southern Idaho and you like to ride a lot, hit me up drop your link in the comments or like let me know how to hit you up hit send me an email i'll put my business email up so people can make inquiries i want to make some sweaters like some hoodies for the winter and get a couple out so i'll probably do a hoodie giveaway um soon i'm thinking soon i'm thinking Probably the first the next month or something, I'll uh, I'll have some custom hoodies made, and I'll send those out to a few of my subscribers if people are paying attention to the channel, if it's growing like I need it to. Damn, that place is popping, popping. The fair is like done. It was wild. They're still cleaning up tents and shit. This was a wild weekend for me. I started on a Thursday. I got a free kayak. I'm currently like epoxying it and gluing it so it's not all fucked up. It was free so you obviously know there's going to be a crack or two in it. Damn, that clutch did not feel good right there. Yeah, the lights look like hella blurry. Hey, if 
motherfucker. Bebopping. Call it bebopping. They call it going for a rip, a rip on the grom. I can't remember what else it's called. Call it bebopping through the town. Oh damn. Ooh, damn, that felt good. Woo! Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Big, big bump, big bump. All the funky smells, man. There's loads of smells everywhere. People having fires. People burning their clutch up on their drum. Lightning! Oh snap! There's some lightning! I don't know if y'all saw that! It's getting kind of sloppy, isn't it? I'm definitely going to tighten up... Oh, we're stopping. I'm definitely going to tighten up my chest rig so it's not so floppy. Make it super tight. Try to avoid dead silences. Twenty five. Twenty five. When did this become twenty five? That's crazy. Just kidding. <laughs> Smells like bug spray. One of the big reasons I started uh, recording was I had a couple people try to run me off the road on this thing, like really, really super duper aggressively, and it just made me want to have like a GoPro running or whatever, but then I, I learned you can get like a phone mount, so right now I'm using the Google Pixel 7 on a phone mount, and then I got a TT Star USB-C microphone, like literally bo bare bones, cheapest setup you could probably have. Bumpy as fuck! Bump shift! <laughs> easy! Easy! Oh yeah! I like to have a lot of fun on this bike. This is my baby. I love the big one, but the big one is 700 pounds and it takes like every ounce of your energy, it takes all of your focus. It takes every bit of skill. Like some people say, oh, you just get on it and ride. But those are people that have been riding motorcycles for like 20 or 30 years. I've been riding for like, we'll say four. I got a GSXR in 2018 or 19. And then I had a bunch of scooters, like, but not like, not like the scooters you're thinking. Like I'm talking chopped 150s, if, if you know what I mean that just ripped and that gave me like a lot of the nimble balance and maneuverability skills but yeah we're coming up to a 25 minute mark I think that's a good amount of time for an unedited raw part two moto vlog and it's getting pretty dark so just want to take the time to thank you guys for checking out my channel if you were able to watch the video for its entirety thank you very much I appreciate the support and the time that you just took um, listening to me babble on my bike sorry if I'm yelling um, I'll take the time to get like a mirror shot or have someone hold my camera for me like next time I'll pull up to my buddy and I'll be like hey I need you to hold this camera and show my viewers my gear and like you know give them a little cameraman fee or something like that but um yeah thank you guys for taking the time to check out the channel it means the world to me I probably said that like 10 times already 
but um, it's getting serious. It's getting serious. I got my microphone is in my head, in my helmet. Like, I got a Honda hoodie and some riding gloves, and I'm getting new grips, and I'm starting to take better care of my bikes. Like, it's really starting to pick up in a way that I didn't ever imagine. Like, I took the audience that I had, and I've made it grow just a little bit. It's going to be a different type of growth than like the gun videos were kind of making but I'll try to like put an all around a preview of what do you call it a trailer of my channel so it's like very clear what my channel is about how to reach me and stuff like that but that being said peace